all children, in front of you is Charlene Jerry. And today uh, we are going to learn the word of God with Teacher Kate and Teacher, teacher Rachel mm. Karanja. Are you ready to learn the word of God with us? If you are ready, have your notebook, your pen, and your Bible. Let us start with the word of prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you this day. We say thank you and you honor you. Thank you for the gift of life that some people wanted to see this day, but they didn't tell Lord. Let your will be done as we go on with this lesson. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. So let us all stand for the praise and worship. It's a great day to praise the Lord. It's a great day to praise the Lord. It's a great day to praise the Lord. Walking in the light of God. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walking in the light of God. It's a great day to serve the Lord. It's a great day to serve the Lord. It's a great day to serve the Lord. Walking in the light of God. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walking in the light of God. It's a great day to love the Lord. It's a great day to love the Lord. It's a great day to love the Lord. Walking in the light of God. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walking in the light of God. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walking in the light of God. Up the mountain, down the valley, on the land and in the sea. Up the mountain, down the valley, on the land and in the sea. Hallelujah, the Lord is my shepherd in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. The Lord is my shepherd in the land. The Lord is good forevermore. Jesus power, super super power, Satan's power, powerless power. Jesus power, super super power, Satan's power, powerless power. Hallelujah, the Lord is special in the land. Shine, 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 I want to shine. When people see me, they see you, Jesus. I want to shine, oh my Lord, I want to shine. I want to, sh I want to jump, 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 I want to jump. I want to jump, 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 I want to jump. When people see me, they see you, Jesus. I want to jump, oh my Lord, I want to love. I want to dance, 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 I want to shine. I want to dance, 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 I want to dance. When people see me, they see you, Jesus. I want to dance, oh my Lord, I want to dance. Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you're fine and blessed of the Lord. We are very happy to have you for another Sunday service. So today, we are going to hear the word of God from Teacher Kate. And she's, she will be teaching us. Remember, this month, we are learning about making wise decisions. Eh? So we introduced saying that some people in the Bible made bad decisions and others made a good decision. We learned last Sunday that Noah chose a wise decision of walking blameless and was faithful in his work with God. So today we're going to hear another story of, uh, of Samson and this time he made a wrong choice. So let's pray so that teacher Kate can speak to us. 
Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity that you've given unto us to hear your word. We pray that you shall teach us, speak to us as we listen. In Jesus' name we pray and give thanks. Amen. Amen. Thanks again for this opportunity. Good morning again, boys and girls. Uh, today we are reading from the book of Judges, chapter 16, verse 1 to 22. Judges, chapter 16, verse 1 to 22. And where is Judges? Judges is just after Joshua. Joshua. And today we are reading the story of a man called Solomon. Samson. Sorry, Samson. So, a uh, man called Samson. Samson. And this man was chosen by God. So the story is about Samson and Deraira. One day, as we continue to read from chapter 16, verse 1 to 22. One day, Samson went to Gaza, where he saw a prostitute. He went in to spend the night with her. The people of Gaza were told, Samson is here. So they surrounded the place and lay in wait for him all night at the city gate. They made no move during the night, saying, at dawn, we'll kill him. Why did these guys want to kill Samson? Because they knew Samson was a strong, powerful man. They had seen what he had done, and that is why they wanted to kill him, because they knew he was an enemy to the Philistines. And that is why they wanted to do things which were not right to God because of, to them, they knew that, Sam, uh, that Samson will deliver the Israelites. So we go to three, but, but Samson lay there only until the midnight of the night. Then he got up and took hold of the doors of the city gate together with the two posts and tore them loose bar and all. He lifted, them, he lifted them to his shoulders and carried them to the top of the hill that faced Hebron. Wow, this guy was strong. You can look at the gates and see how gates are very big with the, even the post and I believe those times they were even so, so much big. Not like these days, they are smaller. That, those days, they used to be so big. And you can imagine this guy coming in. Hey, Samson. He could come in and carry them. He did not wait for anybody to open because they knew they had already closed and nobody would have gotten out, but not so, Samson. Samson was a very strong person. So sometime later, he fell in love with a woman in the valley of Sorek whose name was Delilah. Eish! He was not a straight man. He was not doing according to the will of God. Remember, he had a prostitute, and now he has another woman called Delilah. He was not doing what the Lord wanted of him. He was making bad choices. The ruler of Philistines went to her and said, see if you can rule over into showing you the secret of his great strength. Imagine he's being deceived by Delilah. He thought that Delilah loved him, but all oh unto him, he never knew that he was to be tricked by Delilah. What does that tell us? That when you make a mistake, know there are people who will trick you also to do things which are not right in God. So be careful to what you do when you're making, when, when you have done a mistake. Because in the first place, Samson was doing, uh, doing something which was not right in God. Uh, let us go to 6, and it says, So Derila said to Samson, Tell me the secret of your great strength, and how can I be t uh, uh, tied up and subdued. You know, if someone wants to trick you, they'll come in like a soft way by telling you, please, Samson, so just tell me where your strength comes from. 
because all that Darila wanted was money. And remember he was told by the Philistines that he'll be given some money. So for, he, for her, she did not love Samson at all. So what happened? Let us see from the Bible. Samson's, uh, Samson answered her, if anyone ties me with seven fresh bowstrings that have not been dried, I'll become as weak as any other man. Whoa! So Derila thought, ah, now I know the secret. I know what I'll do to Samson. So what happened? He called the Philistines and brought her seven fresh bowstrings that had not been dried, and she tied him with them. With men hidden in the room, he called him, Samson, Samson, the Philistines are here. And upon hearing that, what does the Bible tells us? He snapped and bo uh, the bowstrings as easily as a piece of string snaps when it comes close to a frame. So the secret of his strength was not discovered. Even him had tricked Delilah. Let us continue with the Bible, chapter verse 10, chapter 16, verse 10. Then Delilah said to Samson, You have made a fool of me. You write to me. Come now, let, tell me how you can be tied. He said, If anyone ties me sec uh, securely with new ropes that have, not, have, have never been used, I'll be as weak as any other man. So what did Derrida do? This is the second time. So Derrida took new ropes and tied him with them. Then with the men hidden in the room, he called him again. Samson, Samson, the Philistines are here. They are here upon you. Oh. But the, he snaps the rope off his arms as if they were threads. Wow. This guy had a lot of strength. Wow. So Derila, that is 13, Derila then said to Samson, all this time you have been making a fool of me and lying to me. Tell me how you can be tied. Another time, that is the third time, he replied, if you weave a seven, the seven braids on my head into a fabric of room and tighten it with a pin, I'll become as weak as any other man. So when he was sleeping, Derila took seven braids of his head, wove them into the fabric, and tightened it with a pin. And again, this lady was, Aish. She was trying her rebel best to get this money. Remember, she's doing all this because of the money that she was, uh, she was told by the Philistines. You can imagine. And you know those Philistines were kings. So she knew it was, it was good money. And Derida took uh, the seven braids of his bread and wove them into the fabric and tightened them with a pin. And again, she uh, called him. Samson, 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 the Philistines are upon you. He woke from his sleep and pulled up the pin and run with the fabric. Oh. Then she said to him, how can you say that you love me? Imagine, now he's asking, she's asking, how can you say that you love me? Yet, you won't confide, confide in me. This is the third time you have made a fool of me and haven't told me the secret of your great strength. She was just pretending that she loved Samson, but she was really tricking Samson. Remember, that is our story today. Whether Samson was making the right decision by telling Delilah there his secret. With such a nagging, uh, with, with such nagging, she proud, uh, prodded him day after day, every day, every day, asking him about his strength until he was sick to death of it. So he told her everything and that is now the top secret. No razor has ever be, been used on my head, 
he said, because I have been a Nazarite. And a Nazarite dedicated to God from my mother's womb. If my head was, was, was saved, my strength would leave me and I would become as weak as any other man. He was a Nazarite. Maybe teacher Rachel, you can tell us who was a Nazarite. A Nazarite was a person who was not supposed to touch anything unclean or take any wine or even cut his hair. Yes, that is very true. He was not supposed to drink any wine. He was not supposed to eat anything that is, was unclean. And he was not supposed to do what? To cut his hair. hair. And that is all the secret that, Del, uh, that Samson was hiding his, his, in his heart. Why? Because when he was born, remember he was born in the family of Manoah, that is when uh, the go God had given, the, uh, had given them a vow as a Nazarite to keep from taking wine and even touching anything unclean. So he broke the, vo the vows that were made to him from his parents. So when Derira, that is 18, when Delilah saw that he had told everything, she sent word to the rulers of the Philistines, come back once again. He said, he told me everything. So the rulers of the Philistines turned into the silver, uh, with the silver in their hands. Remember we said that Delilah was doing all this because of money. Now that she got the secret, what happened? They came with the silver that they had promised. After putting him to sleep on her wrap, she called for someone to, save, uh, to shave off the seven braids of his hair and so began to subdue him and his strength left him. You know the strength of Samson was dwelling was dwelling on the hair and when they cut off the hair what happened the lord left him then she called samson samson the philistines are upon you he woke from his sleep and thought i'll go out as before and shake myself free but did not know that the lord had left him then the philistine seized him gouged out his eyes, watch, imagine, just because of what? Because he thought that someone had fallen in love with him. Now the person that he had, uh, with her, the person that he had fallen in love with, have already done what? She tricked him. Yeah, they all, the person have already tricked him. And now the Lord is, in, is no, longer, no longer with, with him. And as, uh, uh, he woke up from his sleep and thought, I'll go out before and shake myself free, but he did not know that the Lord had already left him. Then the Philistine seized him, gouged out his eyes, and took him down to Gaza. Biding him with bronze shackle, they set him to greedy, greeting grain in the prison, but the hair on his head began to grow again after it had been shaved. What are we learning about Samson today? Samson, remember, was dedicated as a Nazarite from birth, but he broke the vows to God. Sam Samson did not do what? Did not stay close to God, thus he made bad choices and decisions. What are we learning, boys and girls, is that to be a true Nazarite, you have to separate with the worldly things, worldly activities that are not pleasing God. That is to be a true Nazarite. If Samson had dedicated his life to God, he would not have done the. They would not have gone to do the bad choices. And again, it is important also to to choose good friends. If Samson walked right with the Israelites, he would not have gone to the Philistines. And it is good to listen to what your parents are saying is right, because your parents will guide you to the right direction. And our memory verse today is from the book of Proverbs, chapter 13, verse 20, that says, he who walks 
with, this, with wise men will be wise. Do you want to be wise? Do you want to be wise? Please walk with the wise. And that is, the proverb, that is from Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20. I'm hoping today you have learned that doing the right thing will lead you to the right direction. Please obey your parents. Keep away from drugs and keep, the, keep God's commands in your heart. And by doing so, you will see the internal life and you live a good life. Thank you very much. Let us bow our head for a word of prayer. Almighty and ever living God, we give you the glory and all the honor. Thank you, Lord, how we do pray that we live as the uh, great Nazarites, O oh Father, keeping your vows, O oh Father, reading the word, and also praying, O oh my Father, because we you know with you all things are possible. We pray that you will do your will upon our lives. We pray this, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Teacher Kate, for speaking to us. Thank you for teaching us this morning that there are consequences of making bad choices. Samson made a bad choice. He had his eyes gorged out. He went to prison. So there are consequences when we make bad choices. Mm -hmm. So boys and girls, let's always do what is right. Walk with the wise like we are told by Chicha Kit, and our lives will honor God. Thank you, and may God bless you. Have a pleasant week. Bye.